Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is May 2nd, 2016. Today, up at the Abbey, and today we're going to actually be processing that honey um, that I got from that hive on Saturday. Um, that hive was nothing but honey. And what we're looking at right here is our newly refurbished wax melter, honey melter. Uh, and uh, this melter was here in, in the building, um, but unfortunately, uh, we also had a bunch of water in it. And let me show you the, the height of this water in this building. So there, that dark line right there, that was how high the water was up here on the 11th of March. And if you bring it over to the kettle, it was about four or five inches from the top of it right there. So all of the, everything on the kettle was under the water. We had a guy come out, Tony came out and refurbished it, cleaned it, disinfected it, and that camper is ready to roll now. And just in time too, because in this ice chest or all is all the comb that came from that hive that I pulled out on Saturday. And the reason I'm just doing this video is because I've already had several people ask me, well, what are you going to do with all that honey that you got from, the, from that hive? And this is what I'm going to do with it. We're going to uh, melt it all down uh, into the uh, kettle and then strain it and let the honey settle and the wax rise. And then we'll go ahead and bottle it up. So I'm going to get busy with dumping the honey um, into the... Uh, kettle and igniting it and let the heat start doing its work. That kettle is, is a um, double insulated uh, jacketed wall and it's water that surrounds it so heat never actually, it's never a direct heat on on the uh, whatever is in it whether it be honey or food that that's uh, actually what that was was a, a cooker and uh, so the the material, the food never does or it never is in contact with direct heat. So it's the best kind of heat to use to, to melt this wax. And it, it won't get the temperature I set for right around 100 degrees. So it never, it never really affects the, um, the honey itself. So I'm going to go ahead and start dumping the, all that honey into the uh, kettle and let the kettle do its work. This is all the uh, honey uh, comb that I got from that uh, hive, slide down. It just about filled up that 48 quart igloo. I don't know how many gallons uh, we'll get out of it. I'm figuring we'll get at least six or seven, but we'll see uh, in the end. So I'm just gonna pour this um, ice chest um, into the kettle and let the kettle do all the work. Well, I'd like to pick that ice chest up, but it's a little bit too heavy for me to pick up. So I'm going to have to put some pieces in it, lighten the load, and then I'll be able to dump the whole bucket in. been in here, honey and the wax have been here for about two and a half, two and three quarters hours. It takes a um, still a long time because the temperature is so low to, to actually melt everything. But as you can see it does a really good job. I've already skimmed off the majority of the cappings. Uh, I just didn't want to overload the strainer so I took out a bunch of them. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the gate now and uh, case right here and it's just going to allow the the hot uh, honey the wax and the rest of the cappings 
to go through. I've got a double um, filter here, um, and it'll just go through the coarse one and then into the fine one. And then once once it goes into the bucket and cools, and I'll show you that tomorrow because it takes a it takes a whole day for that thing to cool down. Um, I'll remove the uh, the capping and then I'll strain it one more time. So let's open up the honey gate and and see what's going to come out. A little over 24 hours since I uh, poured the uh, honey from the kettle into the uh, bucket and you can see how high the honey level is. I'm, I'm guessing there's about four gallons is what I think is in there. But you can see the nice capping of, of, of wax right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove that capping and then I'm going to go ahead and pour the honey into the strainer into the bottler. Check this out. So all I'm going to do is just tilt the wax capping and uh, pick it up. That's it. I don't want to drip all that honey in there. I'm going to go feed that to the bees. It's got a lot of nasty stuff on it. So I've got about a half inch bunch of wax and the rest, honey, honey. I'm in the shop now, so you'll hear a lot of shop noise going on. I'm just going to go ahead and dump the, uh, the honey into the uh, strainer. That's the way that I process this uh, comb wax. It's all now in the uh, bottling tank and uh, it'll settle out for another day or so and then I'll skim that stuff off and then I'll just bottle it up. It's not a really difficult process but there's a bunch of steps and a few days involved in it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching. And I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, out.